When the wind blows across the UK, we can generate almost a third of all our electricity needs, and that's a massive step forward compared with just 10 years ago. But the government wants us to be carbon neutral. It means a huge increase in renewable energy sources like wind turbines. But what happens when the wind doesn't blow? At the moment on calm days, gas-fired power stations are ramped up to fill the gap on a windless day. This illustrates how reliant we are still on fossil fuels. On this day last month, nuclear power generation was 11.6%, with renewables including wind, solar and biomass contributing 24% of our electricity. But by far the biggest power generation came from gas-fired power stations, which with coal generated nearly 60%. But by 2050, all fossil fuel power stations will be phased out to reach the government's carbon neutral target. But when the wind stops blowing then, where will our electricity come from? Part of the answer lies here in Rotherham. It's one of the biggest battery facilities anywhere in the country and it's capable of storing 75 megawatt hours of renewable electricity. So one of the big challenges with managing a decarbonising electricity system that's got a growing proportion of renewables is balancing supply and demand. These batteries are fantastic for that. At times when there's too much generation on the system for the amount of demand, which is very often at times of high renewable energy output, we can help balance the system by charging these batteries and storing that energy until later in the day, releasing it back onto the system when demand has has increased or that renewable generation has reduced. So if we're going to achieve our net zero targets and decarbonise the grid, within this decade we need ten times the amount of energy storage that we currently have on the system. This site is owned by Gresham House Energy Storage Fund and the private sector will need to play a huge role in decarbonising the economy. But we are a very long way away from being able to bridge the massive gap that we will face when fossil fuel power stations become obsolete. Andy Pym is an expert in energy storage solutions from Leeds University. We're in a decent place at the moment. I don't think there's, there's uh, concerns over security of supply. Um, but obviously as we continue to, to roll out uh, renewables and, and take uh, coal and then, and then gas off the grid, then we're going to need more storage. And there are other options as well. There's things like interconnection and we are building more interconnectors um, to places like Norway. Um, and um, there's a demand response as well, which we shouldn't uh, forget about. The challenge of meeting our electricity demand in a carbon-free world is huge and will involve a number of solutions, including importing electricity from abroad and encouraging us to use power at times of low demand, such as at night, alongside a big increase in energy storage.